I think we can all agree that the 1970s was an unusual time, to say the least. But believe it or not, there are some things in this world that are bizarre even by their standards. Yet some of them were a must-have in every home back then. Here are a few quirky home essentials in the 1970s. If you lived through the 70s, Formica countertops should ring a bell. They were sleek, shiny surfaces that adorned kitchens across America, adding a touch of modernity to every home. Formica was the go-to material for countertops, dining tables, and even some funky furniture pieces. But why was Formica so popular back then? Well, for starters, it was durable as heck. This stuff could withstand the daily hustle and bustle of a busy household without so much as a scratch. And let's not forget about the endless array of designs and colors available. From bold patterns to earthy tones, Formica gave homeowners the freedom to express their personal style like never before. Plus, let's be real here, Formica was more than just a practical choice. It was a status symbol. Having Formica countertops in your kitchen was basically saying, hey, I'm hip, I'm modern, and I've got good taste. It was laminate luxury at its finest, and everyone wanted a piece of the action. But Formica didn't stop at just countertops. Oh no, it was everywhere. Dining tables, coffee tables, even bathroom vanities, you name it, Formica could cover it. It was the ultimate versatile material, bringing a touch of sophistication to every corner of the home. So whether you were whipping up a batch of fondue for your funky dinner party or just enjoying a quiet breakfast, with the family. Formica was there to make sure your space looked stylish and stood the test of time. No wonder everyone had to have it. Ah, colored toilet paper. Now here's a trend that really added shades outside of brown to the bathroom. Back in the swinging 70s, even our toilet paper had to match the color scheme. That's how weird we were back then. Imagine walking into a bathroom and being greeted by rolls of toilet paper in vibrant hues like pink, blue, or even green. It was like a party in the powder room. People went wild for this quirky trend, adding a splash of color to an otherwise mundane necessity. I remember one time a few years back, my buddy Dennis decided to throw a themed 70s party at his place. He went all out with the decorations, shag carpets, lava lamps, the whole shebang. But the pace de resistance? Colored toilet paper, of course. He even put one bright pink roll on a mantle for everyone to admire. Or, in this case, laugh at. Well, let's just say things got a little out of hand. You see, after a few too many cocktails, some of the guests thought it would be hilarious to start teeping the house with a colored toilet paper. Before we knew it, the whole place was covered in pink and blue streamers. We spent hours cleaning up that mess, but hey, at least it brought us back to our childhood. But beyond the hijinks, colored toilet paper was just another way for people to express their individuality and embrace the colorful spirit of the 70s. It may have been a quirky trend, but it sure did add some fun to those daily bathroom routines. Tufted headboards were only for the upper echelon. This was the epitome of grandeur and comfort in 1970s bedroom decor. The wealthy among us had a lush, plush headboard adorned with elegant button tufting, exuding an air of Vegas style opulence right in the comfort of your own bedroom. These statement pieces were more than just a place to rest your head. They were the focal point of the room, commanding attention with their bold design and luxurious texture. Whether in a rich red or a vibrant yellow, a tufted headboard added instant glamour and sophistication to any sleeping space. For curious minds watching this video, tufting refers to the process of creating dimples or folds in fabric or upholstery by securing buttons or stitches in them. When it comes to headboards, this technique creates a deeply textured surface that not only looks stunning but also provides a cozy backdrop for late night reading or lounging in bed. And let's talk about comfort. There's nothing quite like sinking into the plush embrace of a tufted headboard after a long day. It's like being enveloped in a cloud of luxury surrounded by softness and style. Tufted headboards were a must-have accessory for anyone 
looking to elevate their bedroom decor to new heights of sophistication. So if you wanted to channel the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas right in your own home, a tufted headboard was the way to go. The 70s truly knew how to bring the drama to bedtime. The oil lamp still baffles me to this day. It was a lamp that not only provided ambient lighting, but also created a mesmerizing visual experience reminiscent of a gentle rain shower. What do I mean, you ask? Well, think of a clear cylinder filled with a special oil-based fluid suspended above a light source. Attached to the cylinder are strands of fine threads like delicate strands of rain which dangle down and collect droplets of the oil as they cascade from the top to the bottom. When the lamp is turned on, the light beneath the cylinder illuminates the fluid-filled threads, casting a warm, soft glow throughout the room. As the oil drips down the threads, it creates the illusion of raindrops falling gently from above, casting mesmerizing patterns of light and shadow on the surrounding surfaces. The oil lamp was more than just a source of illumination. It was a work of art, a hypnotic blend of light and fluid dynamics that captivated the imagination and provided a soothing visual experience. It was the perfect addition to any space in need of a touch of ambience and intrigue. Now, I must admit, these oil rain lamps sure weren't cheap, but for those willing to splurge a little, they offered a unique and enchanting way to light up their homes and create a sense of tranquility. Hey, give this video a like if you love oil rain lamps. If you don't, write me a lengthy paragraph as to why in the comments. I'll take the time to read it, I promise. Now, on to the next quirky essential. Clear vinyl sofa covers were the bane of comfort, but the savior of precious upholstery in many 70s households. These shiny, transparent shields were the go-to solution for homeowners, especially the older crowd who wanted to protect their beloved sofas while still showcasing their original designs. Back in the day, my grandma was the general of strict household rules, especially when it came to keeping her furniture in pristine condition. She had this beautiful floral pattern sofa that she adored, and she spared no expense in ensuring it stayed in tip-top shape. So how'd she do it? You guessed it, she covered that sofa in not just any old fabric, but in a clear vinyl sofa cover. Now, let me tell you, sitting on that thing was like sliding into a sauna on a hot summer day. Not exactly the most comfortable experience, but hey, Grandma wasn't about to sacrifice style for comfort. She was so strict about keeping that sofa cover clean and free from any spills or stains. I remember one time my cousin accidentally spilled a glass of grape juice on the sofa. And you would have thought the world was ending. Grandma went into full panic mode, scrubbing away at the vinyl cover with all her might until every last drop was gone. But you know what? Despite the discomfort and the strict rules, that sofa remained in pristine condition for years to come, thanks to the magic of the clear vinyl sofa cover. Sure, it may not have been a cloud of softness under you, but it sure did defend Grandma's living room. Avon's decorative decanters were a whimsical touch of charm and creativity that adorned many vanities and dressing tables for mothers all around. There were ornate perfume bottles, intricately designed decanters shaped like animals, vehicles, or even historical figures. In the 70s, Avon decided to take a creative route with their perfume packaging, and boy did it pay off. These decorative decanters served as both a vessel for their delightful fragrances and as a charming piece of decor in their own right. From elegant swans to majestic lions, from sleek cars to whimsical cottages, Avon's decorative decanters come in all shapes and sizes, catering to every taste and style. These little works of art added a touch of personality and flair to any dressing table, turning the act of applying perfume into a delightful ritual. Beyond that, these decanters were also a clever marketing strategy for Avon. By offering their perfumes in unique and collectible bottles, they not only enticed customers with their delightful scents, but also created a sense of exclusivity and novelty. Beaded curtains used to be hip. I can still hear the sound hours made to this day. Strands of colorful beads cascading down from doorways, swaying gently with every movement and creating a delightful symphony of sound as they brushed against each other. 
For the younger folk, it used to be that doorways were adorned with a curtain made up of countless strings of beads, glass, plastic, wood, you name it, hanging down in a mesmerizing cascade. These curtains were more than just a barrier between rooms. They were a statement piece, adding a pop of color and texture to any space they graced. One of the things that made beaded curtains so popular in the 70s was their ability to create a sense of mystery. Walking through a beaded curtain was like stepping into another world with each strand of beads offering a glimpse into the next room while still maintaining a sense of privacy. No wonder fortune tellers love them. Let's not forget about the sensory experience. The gentle rustling sound of the beads as they swayed in the breeze added an extra layer of ambiance to any room, creating a calming and soothing atmosphere that was perfect for unwinding after a long day. Whether used to partition off a room or or add a splash of color to a doorway, beaded curtains were a staple of home decor that brought the spirit of the decade to every space they inhabited. And there you have it. So which of these weird essentials do you see being embraced nowadays? I would love to hear from you. Hey, if you liked the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.